Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, this is the second shovel uh, that, that I have received in the past year and a half. Uh, the other one was when we did Severance Field uh, at John Harris campus. So it's exciting to see where the district is going and how we are moving things forward. So I just have to do a couple of thank yous. Some of them have already been done, but I need to do them because they really come from the heart. So probably about a eh, year and a half ago, um, Mr. Glass and I, um, because I, I was getting acclimated to Harrisburg, didn't really know all the areas and all the schools. So I had a couple parents who were calling and talking about their child's commute from this area to Ben Franklin. And I didn't have a concept of really what they were talking about. So I got in my car and I remember driving into the area and then driving to Ben Franklin and seeing the distance that our little children were either walking to school or having parents have to take them to school. So Mr. Glass said, you know, there's a school in that area. I said, no, I didn't see it. So I'll be honest with you, I tried to find this school the first time. It took me about a half hour. I was all over this neighborhood, and for whatever reason, my GPS had me down the street. I didn't even know where I was going. So Mr. Glass and I finally met here. We walked through the school and kind of came back and said, what if? What if we reopen this school? Because the one thing I've heard time and time again in Harrisburg is how much the board of directors in the community loves neighborhood schools time and time again. And the neighborhood here around Steele Elementary did not have a school. Yes, we have Camp Curtin as a middle school down the street, but there's no elementary school where the children in this area could go to school. So Craig and I started having some conversation and started talking about, once again, the what if. We identified at that point in time that we really wanted to create, go back to a K-5 to model and bring our fifth grade scholars back to the elementary level. What that created is elementary schools that then were overcrowded, which put into play, if we reopen Steele Elementary School, we now would spread students out and lessen the number of students who were in the other five elementary schools. So, came to Dr. Susky with a proposal, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate her um, on behalf of myself and my administrative team having conversation with PDE, our Pennsylvania Department of Education, about how important this would be and what it would do for our district. And she asked probably seven million questions, maybe seven million in one. Uh, she had to make sure with Dr. Stokes and myself that financially it made sense for us, not just for next year, but for the future. And once we were able to answer those questions for her, she went to the Pennsylvania Department of Education and she really pushed for this school to reopen. So I really thank her and appreciate what she did for the district, the administrative team, and for this community, and for all the board of directors as well. How many conversations we've had in terms of, and Mr. Thompson, I don't know how many times you said neighborhood schools to me. Um, I can probably hear it in my sleep. Um, but constantly talking about what reopening this building would do for this community. So what I want this community to do at this point in time is to get excited about what this is going to look like next school year. Because what I can tell you, this will be a state-of-the-art facility in Harrisburg. So this was going to be a model that hopefully, over time, we can look at how do we create these types of facilities for our children because this is what they deserve. So I just want to thank everybody who has worked very hard to, to bring this project to fruition. And this guy over here, Craig Glass, I know he had a chance to come up and speak, but what he does for the district and the amount of work he does day in, day out, and I guarantee you he will make sure that this project is completed and ready to go before we open up in August 2024. So I appreciate everyone coming out. And if there's anything I want you to do, I want you to get excited about the opportunity our children are going to have in about 15, 16 months. Because they are gonna walk in school for the first time and they are gonna see a school like no other. So I appreciate everyone coming out. I thank you very much. And I look forward to when we reopen these doors in the next 15 or 16 months. Thank you.